Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video we're going to be doing an intro into model scripting. A model is basically just a collection of parts but the way you do scripting for it is a little bit different. So we're going to be taking a look at that in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay so there's a few things we're going to do before we get started with the scripting for this video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the Explore menu and click on Workspace. And then we're going to click on the plus sign so that we can add a model. So go ahead and just start typing model until it appears in the menu and then click on it. After you do that, we're going to come up to the top and click the Part button 10 times. Once you do that, go ahead and use a selection box to highlight all the parts. And then we're going to click and drag those parts inside of the model. So once you're done, you should have a model that contains the 10 parts. What we're going to do next is we're going to click on Model and then click on the plus sign. Now we're going to be adding a script, so go ahead and start typing script until it appears. You can go ahead and delete the print hello world message. Just like we do for normal parts, we're going to start by creating a variable that's going to serve as a reference for this model. So to do that, we're going to say local model is equal to script dot parent. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a for loop to loop through each item in this model to change the properties of the parts. So to do that we're going to start with the word for. Next I'm going to name two variables. The first one is be, going to be called num. The second one is going to be called child. And we'll take a look at what these are in just a second but let's go ahead and just continue. So the next part is going to be in pairs inside the parentheses we're going to write model and this is the same model that we just made up here next we're going to use colon and get children so what this is doing it's taking our model and it's using this function right here to get all the children or the items inside of this model outside of the parentheses we're going to write do and then press enter so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at those two variables by printing them off so we're going to say print num and print child. So this is going to allow us to see what these variables are storing when, the, when we actually run the code. So before we do run the code, make sure we go up to view and we have our output selected. And once you do that, you can go ahead and run the code and we'll take a look and see what happens. Okay, and if we take a look at our output, we see we have a couple things going on. The numbers here represent the num variable. So we see that the num variable is printing off the numbers between 1 and 11, and that corresponds to the number of items in our model. So we have 10 different parts and one script, so that's how we get 11. So the other thing we have is we have the name part 10 times and the word script once. So what this is, this is the name of the items inside the model, and this is going to be useful if we want to change the properties. So since we have the name of the items, we can directly say child dot and then whatever property we want to change. So let me go ahead and show you what that's going to look like. So if we head back to script, I'm going to get rid of these print statements. So since child is going to be representing the names of the items in the model, we could say something like child dot transparency equals 0 0.5. Okay, one problem we're going to have though, since this loops through each item in my model, it's going to try to do this for the script as well, but the script doesn't have a transparency property. So what we have to do is actually check to see whether that item that it's on is a part or not. And we can do that with an if statement. So we're going to say if child colon is a, and then inside the parentheses we're going to put the word part. Outside the parentheses we're going to put then, and then down below here we're going to put the word end. Okay, so what we're doing so far is we're using that for loop to go through each item in the model. We're using an if statement to check to see if that item is actually a part. If it is a part, then we're going to set its transparency equal to 0.5. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our program and see what it looks like. Okay, and if we take a look at our model, we can see that each part in this model has a transparency of 0.5. So quickly, just to recap what we did in this video, we created a model and then we used a for loop to go through each item in this model. 
we check to see if that item is a part. And if it is a part, then we changed one of its properties. In the future, we're going to be doing more with for loops and more with model scripting. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.